Today we are going to take you around the city of Chester to look at some of the historical locations around the city. This is History of Chester in 360. One of the most distinct parts of Chester is the Chester city walls which surround the inner parts of the city. The walls, which were built as a defence for the fortress inside, were first constructed by the Romans around 70 to 80 AD. The structure of the walls has been maintained and rebuilt over a period of 2,000 years. We are here at Northgate, which has access to the city walls which surround the city. And if you look to the left through the fence, you can see parts of the walls which surrounded the fortress. Some parts of this wall are the original walls built by the Romans which date back to around 70 to 80 AD. This is the spot where the Roman amphitheatre once lay. The Roman amphitheatre was a source of entertainment for the people of Chester who would go and see gladiators or brutal events such as cockfighting and bear baiting. In fact, this amphitheatre was so popular it is the largest one found in the country and was able to hold up to 7,000 people at the time. If you look in front of you, you'll see ancient pieces of the walls that once made up this spot. These walls were excavated in the early 2000s and can be traced back over 2000 years. And if you look behind you, you can see an artist's impression of what the amphitheatre may have looked like during the time. The Eastgate Clock Tower is another part of the original city walls which sit in the middle of the Chester High Street. The gateway has been replaced many times, however, this current gate dates back to 1768. If you look up in front of you, you'll see the clock tower on top of the gate. This dates back to 1899 when it was added to celebrate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. And now we are here at Bridgegate, which was part of the expansion of the walls to the south in the 12th century. It is believed that this gate was built many times, including when there was fear of a civil war. If you look behind you, you'll see that it runs adjacent to the River Dee. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode, The History of Manchester in 360.